Hello. Uh, so, good morning, everybody. I will start today. I have already told you that after having a introduction class, I asked them about the peritoneum. So, we know the peritoneum has got some folds, some ligaments and some fossa or recess. Now about the folds or ligaments. The peritoneum is nothing but a simple membrane, a plastic like structure and it folds in somewhere, in some regions and we specially name them according to the situation according to the viscera concern. For example, the folds of peritoneum hangs the small intestine, jejunum, ileum, we call it the mesentery. Similarly, a folds of peritoneum connects the stomach with the pancreas or on the, on its way connects the stomach with the transverse colon, we call it omentum. A fold of peri greater momentum, a fold of peritoneum connects the stomach with the liver, we call it lesser momentum. And also some folds, we call it ligaments, gastrosphenic ligaments, lino-renal ligaments, gastrophrenic ligaments, etc. In your examination, sometimes short notes come, especially about the lesser momentum. Before going to the lesser momentum, we just have an idea about the greater momentum which is very important not only it is important for examination purpose of view but also important in our living in our day to day uh, life we are enjoying our life without any discomfort without any uh, discomfort or infection in the abdomen it is got a immense role in the protective function of the abdominal viscera. How? I will just let you know. Now, the first of all, what is greater momentum? So, it is a fold of peritoneum and always when I telling there is a fold, it is not fold, folds. So, it is always a two layer. Any folds of peritoneum, whether it is a lesser momentum, whether it is a greater momentum, it is two layers. Any ligaments, gastrosplenic ligaments, two layers. You must remember these are all two layers. And according to the position, we name them anterior layer, posterior layer, or uh, upper layer, lower layer, etc. So, whenever we tell you that is a fold, it is usually two layers. But in the greater momentum, it has got some exception. But exception is not the deviation of the rule. It is the exception that is the two layers again folds themselves. So, two layers come down, then folds and go up again. So, Actually, it is a four layers. But actually speaking, it is two layers. The two layers of the greater momentum from the stomach come down. Then it again folds back up. So, one, two, three, four layers. But actually, it is a two layers. But on descriptive purpose, we call it four layers. But you must remember, you have seen in your dissection when the abdomen is open, you have seen your greater momentum, you cannot separate these four layers one from another. Can you? No. It is not separable. In living body or in cadaver, these all four layers are fused together to form a thick layer and there are some holes 
we call it fenestration holes gorto royeche a greater momentum dekhte lage ekta sheet of whitish apron like things which hangs from the stomach and you cannot separate the four layers because practically they are all fused together mane ekta sathe ekta lege geche ekdom inseparable except in its upper part so actuality four layers but when you view when you see when you handle it is a thick single layer with a fenestrations means holes got to be ache and slightly yellowish in color here and there because it is laden with fat 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 e bhorti hoye ache and occasionally if you view in very close inspection you will find here and there some white spots we call it milk spots so this is the more or less introduction now suppose a short note comes j greater momentum how do you write so greater momentum is a force of peritoneum which connects practically the stomach with the posterior abdominal wall mainly pancreas but there is an but a but ta ekhon ami ekhane lekha nei ekটু explain korbo so two layers of the greater oven uh, greater oven term comes down like apron and momentum means apron the greek the momentum word coming from the greek word omentas means apron so it hangs like a apron it comes down so how it is two layer covering the peritoneum covering the anterior surface of the stomach टोनियम कवर and posterior surface peritoneum covering the posterior surface of the stomach or posto inferior surface so it is the anterior surface not only the anterior surface of the stomach it also cover the first 2 cm of the duodenum that is very important first 2 or 2.5 cm of the duodenum is also covered by the peritoneum right so both anterior and posterior layer so anterior layer we blue and posterior layer i make it dotted it covers the posterior layer it covers the posterior layer right so there are two layers one is the anterior layer we call it number 1 layer we call it number 1 layer layer number 1 covering the anterior surface of the stomach layer number 1 and another one covering the posterior surface of the stomach and duodenum first inch of the duodenum we call it layer number 2 so there are two layer suppose it is the stomach one covered the anterior surface hangs and another covers the posterior surface usse mere cho ha so we call it it is the layer number 1 we call it it is the layer number 2 bhalo kotha 
Yellow. Then it hangs like a apron. Then it hangs like a apron. Both anterior and covering more or less. So when you open the abdomen, you cannot see the intestine and others because it covers the more or less the whole of the abdomen, this greater omentum. Then it comes down up to this, just below the umbilicus. Then this anterior layer falls upon and posterior layer also falls upon. Airport, it a kami bade transverse section koreat. It a gallo amar view. Ever it a kami transverse section kore nakle, you cannot understand. So, ami it a transverse section korechi, but sagittal section kore. Korar pore, ami dekchi ki hoy. A transverse one, sagittal section korechi. It has stomach. Yellow. Eta tomar kata pore chhe kani transverse colon. Yellow. Ar pecho ne kata pore chhe pancreas. Posterior wale roye chhe. This is the pancreas. Kata pore chhe. Eram bhabe. So it is the stomach. It is the transverse colon. It is the pancreas. It is the anterior border of pancreas. Pancreas has pore porbe tumra, pinte border roche, it is the anterior border of pancreas. In fetal life, and in children, so, ki hoi, it is the anterior side, it is the posterior side. So, it covers the anterior surface of the stomach. It had blue the AK chilam. So it covers the anterior surface of the stomach, this, and this covers the posterior surface of the stomach. Clear? Hoicheto? It has shut it a milkuchi. Clear of cheto? Bas. Then it hangs down like a apron. Layer number one. It hangs like a apron. Layer number two. Bhala kore bojo. Then it folds. And it also folds. Dakho eta bhetore dhukhe ga chhe. Layer number two kintu inside hoye ga chhe. Kale eta kya amra layer number three. Ar eta kya amra layer number four dhe. Kale layer number one is continuous with the layer number 4. Layer number 2 is continuous with the layer number 3. Clear? Ach. O pade uche. Ute pade or direction uche. Nature diye che ki posterior abdominal wall theke eta jhulbe. Amra aagei bole chilam. Jakta picture shedi neke chilam. Jak yakum chere da ota kule deri ye jabe. Here for a key colo layer number four, jet anti layer number one chilo. It goes up, goes up, or direction of the pancreas and anterior border is our soft cotton. All these layers main main aim is to touch the anterior border of the pancreas. Yellow, Jabe. Yellow. Tar for a key colo. A dig 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 posterior abdominal wall at Chule Gallo. A key colo. A can take a say. A about director fold for a transverse colon ke wrap colo. For a posterior wall a gallo. A can the mesent intestine cable wrap for a. It is a small intestine. Uh, 
নিচে নেমে গেল এটা হচ্ছে পস্টিরিয়ার অ্যাবডোমিনাল ওয়াল এটা অ্যান্টিরিয়ার অ্যাবডোমিনাল ওয়াল তাহলে কি হলো ভালো করে বোঝো কভারিং দ্য অ্যান্টিরিয়ার সারফেস অফ দ্য স্টমাক ইট হ্যাংস ডাউন নট অনলি স্টমাক বারবার মনে করছি স্টমাক অ্যান্ড ফার্স্ট টু সেন্টিমিটার অফ দ্য ডিওডিনাম ফার্স্ট টু পয়েন্ট ফাইভ সেন্টিমিটার অফ দ্য ডিওডিনাম ইঞ্চের ব্যাপারে আমরা বলি ফার্স্ট ইঞ্চ অফ দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্ট অফ দ্য ডিওডিনাম দেখতে বেশ সুন্দর লাগে কবিতার মতো মনে হয় ডিওডিনামের চারটে পার্ট রয়েছে ফার্স্ট পার্ট সেকেন্ড পার্ট থার্ড পার্ট আর এখানে রয়েছে ফোর্থ পার্ট তার জন্য আমরা বলি ফার্স্ট ইঞ্চ অব দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্ট অফ দ্য ডিওডিনাম কিন্তু এখন আমরা ইঞ্চ উঠে যাচ্ছে আমরা বলি ফার্স্ট টু পয়েন্ট ফাইভ সেন্টিমিটার অব দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্ট অফ দ্য ডিওডিনাম তাহলে এটা তাহলে কোথার থেকে হ্যাং করছে এটা ইট হ্যাংস ফ্রম স্টমাক প্লাস ডিওডিনাম টু পয়েন্ট ফাইভ সেন্টিমিটার অব দ্য ফার্স্ট পার্ট সো ইট ইজ অ্যাটাচ অ্যান্টিরিয়ার এন্ড ইজ অ্যাটাচ অব দ্য গ্রেটার ওমেন্টাম ইন দ্য গ্রেটার কার্বেচার অব দ্য স্টমাক এটার নাম কি গ্রেটার কার্বেচার অব দ্য স্টমাক অ্যান্ড অলসো ফার্স্ট ইঞ্চ অব দ্য অর টু পয়েন্ট ফাইভ সেন্টিমিটার অব দ্য ডিওডিনাম ফ্রম দেয়ার দ্য অ্যান্টিরিয়ার লেয়ার ফর্মস দ্য লেয়ার নাম্বার ওয়ান অব দ্য গ্রেটার ওমেন্টাম দেন ইট ফোল্ডস ব্যাক টু বি অ্যাটাচ টু দ্য অ্যান্টিরিয়ার বর্ডার অব দ্য প্যাংক্রিয়ার্স অ্যান্ড লেয়ার নাম্বার টু আফটার কভারিং দ্য পস্টিরিয়ার সারফেস অব দ্য স্টমাক comes down again folds back to be attached to the anterior border of the pancreas then layer number 2 goes up to cover the posterior abdominal wall and then goes to cover the diaphragm pore ashbo amra kalke somboboto ashbo diaphragm next the layer number 4 after attaching the anterior border of the pancreas it covering again hangs down become a fold again it forms a fold to encircle the transverse colon er pore eta pancreas e giye abar neme giye ei transverse colon ke cover korche wrap korche ebong ei fold tar naam diyechi amra transverse mesocolon amra naam diyechi transverse mesocolon after covering the transverse mesocolon it covers the posterior abdominal wall again it forms a fold a large fold known as the demesentery which encircle the small intestine jejunum and ileum then again goes back to the posterior abdominal wall tracing jokhon korbe aro bujhte parbe and goes down to the pelvis to cover the rectum and chere dao ovuli ei ta hocche normal greater omentum এরপরে যেটা আমি বলতে ভুলে গেছিলাম বলাটা একটা কথা এটার সাথে এখন অতটা যোগাযোগ নেই আমি এটা মুছে দিচ্ছি একটা ওয়ার্ড তোমাকে এখন বলছি সেটার নাম হচ্ছে জাইগোসিস ওয়ার্ডটার নাম হচ্ছে ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট बडी वाल पस्टिरियर एबडोमिनल वाल धरे नाओ एंड इट लाइन बै दैराटर लेयर अब दिटोनियम पेरिटोनियम हेज गट ए टू लेयार parietal peritoneum and visceral peritoneum parietal peritoneum lines the wall whether it is a anterior wall inside or inside of the posterior wall take bolli amra parietal peritoneum just bhule jai ami ekhon tar jonno ekhon bole diyechi there are certain differences between parietal peritoneum and visceral peritoneum jiggesh kore eta what is that very important parietal peritoneum lines the inside of the body wall visceral peritoneum lines the viscera number one difference number two difference the 
and visceral peritoneum becomes a part and parcel of the viscera. Viscera shangha shudhu line kore na, viscera jakta parts hoye jai. Amla histology te dekhe chhi, shai parts ar naam hoche ki? Serosa. Part ar naam hoche serosa. Intestine ne chakte layer roe chhe. Mucous membrane, submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa or adventitia. Shai serosa is nothing but the visceral peritoneum. Serosa is nothing but the visceral peritoneum. Sudrang, sudh cover kore na. It becomes part and parcel of the viscera itself. It has a actor difference. Do no more difference development. The parietal peritoneum develops from the somatopleuric layer of the lateral plate mesoderm and visceral peritoneum develops from the splanchnopleuric layer of the mesoderm, lateral plate mesoderm. Gallo? Thin number, very important difference. As it is develops from the parietal peritoneum develops from the somatopleuric layer, it is supplied by the splank, a, a, somatic nerves. Somatic nerves. What are the somatic nerves? Amade J, AJ, thoracic nerves, intercostal nerves, tarpa lumbar nerves, Jeguli supply coach a body wall ke, Jeguli ke bully amra somatic nerve. A sympathetic and parasympathetic, Kake bully amra autonomic nerve. So, parietal peritoneum is supplied by the somatic nerves, mainly the lower intercostal and L1, L2 nerves. And visceral peritoneum is supplied by the autonomic nerves. As parietal peritoneum is supplied by as parietal peritoneum is supplied by the somatic nerve, it is pain sensitive. Sutrang to the parietal peritoneum kato agdom prochon no pain feel kurbe. Jarhabi jodi mane ogana kore kato. If do not use anesthesia. If the parietal peritoneum is irritated by infection, if it is a pain sensitive, for if there is an infection or some injury, severe pain will be observed by the patient. And so that further pain pain na hoy, amra abdominal muscle ta ke shokto kore di. Taake boli amra muscle guard. Tumra Jokon surgery te jabe, it is very important. Karo jodi muscle gut thake, you janbe, je parietal peritoneum me kichu gondogol hoyeche, you and it is a patient of serious condition, he, he or she should be transferred to ICU. Hoyto visceral stomach perforation hoyegeche, duodenal perforation hoyegeche, intestine perforation hoyegeche, hoye otake parietal peritoneum ki irritate kuche, je irritate kuche. He or she feels acute pain to save the pain to save from further injury. This anterior abdominal wall muscle become rigid, and it is known as the muscle guard. It is an important sign of peptic perforation or gastric perforation or intestinal perforation. Amra had diye jodi dekhi je muscle ta ekdom cardboard rigidity hoy, ekdom cardboard er moto rigid hoy. Taake amra bolli muscle guard. It is a serious condition. So, parietal peritoneum is sensitive to pain. Visceral peritoneum, as it is supplied by the autonomic nerve, it is not sensitive to pain. Kali ko there agdom hoi na hoi. Jodhi visceral distension hoi. Tokon act a vague, dull aching pain hoi. Visceral jodhi squeezing hoi. Excessive peristalsis. Tokon this uh, visceral peritoneum also a dull aching pain is feel. But you cannot properly localize it. Jage equally dorkan nai. Tale kiki tofat holo. Parietal peritoneum and visceral peritoneum. Parietal peritoneum lines the inside of the abdomen. Number one. Visceral peritoneum lines the viscera. And become part and parcel of the viscera as a serosa. Number two. It is developed from the somatopleuric layer of the mesoderm. It is developed from the splanchnopleuric layer of the mesoderm. Parietal peritoneum is supplied by the somatic nerves, 
visceral peritoneum is supplied by the autonomic nerve. Parietal peritoneum is a pain sensitive by cutting, picking, etc. And visceral peritoneum is a pain insensitive. So, let us see what we have learned. Next, what is the zygosis? So, let us know that this visceral peritoneum and एक अंत के एक टा फोल्ड अप पेरिटोनियम दिए, तुम्हारे एक टा गार्ड, बिकम हैंग्स, सो इट इज़ द पेराइटल पेरिटोनियम, इट इज़ द बिसेरल पेरिटोनियम Now, आमादे जोखोन गार्ड डेवलप होए, especially stomach and also some duodenum, colon, ascending colon, descending colon, cecum etc. Rotation होए, rotation, रोम भूडे जाए, डेवलप करा समय एक टा rotation होए, जे ही rotation होए तब उन की होए, एक टा rotation हुए, एरोम rotation हुए गलो, so This layer and this layer are rotation holo. It act a canachillo, a can take a canagalo, are rotation holo. Rotation of cherapum. Usubrecho, Gureacho, body para body wallet decay, are rotation holo. A canacho legal actum. A due to layer become very close together. Act them out of rotation, act them passabashi cholejai. This judeta act number, do number, pin number layer doro, one and three very come close together. Dectivacho, Koto Dure Chilekane, Arkutai Chole Sheche, Kakun Nature Vapche, Abar Bunchi Yaki Vapor, the Dutu layer the key hobby. एक्टर लेयर ही होगे, तो अपन ये दूसरों लेयर ही मूछे जाए। इटाओ मूछे जाए। वो ले ऐतो काचे ऐसे चे, वो तो ये रण डॉर का नहीं, पेरिटोनियम कवरिंग है, जब एकदम बॉडी वॉलर काचे ऐसे गए थे। सर माने एक तो खूब एक टा दौड़कर नहीं क्या नो आरोग्य झोला बो ये कांते धोरो एक आने झूल चे एक टा जीनिश ये बार जीनिश टा जो दी एकदम तूले एकदम बियालेर काचे दाव तो अपन मोने बार की दौड़कर ओके झूलिए तो अपन नेचर बोल लो कारो दौड़कर नहीं इरा डिसेप्लियर कोडे जाओ ताले की होलो चले दूसरों लेयर भैनीस तो है गलो। एबों इबर भालो करे देखो ये ऑर्गन टा पोस्टियर सरफेस टा पेरिटोनियम में बाहरे चले गलो। उससे बोले चुकी पेरिटोनियम कैविटीर इटा दौरो पेरिटोनियम कैविटी ये पेरिटोनियम में बाहरे चले गए थे। एंटीरियर वॉल टा कवर्ड करे थे। पोस्टियर वॉल इज नॉट a process का नाम होते जाइगोसी। फले, it becomes retro peritoneum. Retro means की posterior. Retro means की posterior. Posterior to peritoneum. शुत्रांग it becomes retro peritoneal. It becomes retro peritoneal. सिमिल ताले हम लोग किसी क्लाम ये धारो duodenum, ascending colon, descending colon, cecum not appendix. Shab guli kinti aksho mai mesentri diye dhulchi. Not only the small intestine, not only the stomach, all are hanging from the 
body wall by the by a fold of peritoneum as like a mesentery but due to rotation of them these two layers become vanished and these become posterior part becomes retroperitoneal these are called secondary retroperitoneal structure initially it is covered by whole of is covered by the peritoneum but due to zygosis the posterior wall becomes non peritoneal and these organ becomes retroperitoneal what are the examples duodenum except first inch and the first part of the duodenum which is covered by the agi dikechi hang by the peritoneum and the duodenal jejunal flexor ei dutu jaga bad diye duodenum ascending colon descending colon cecum all are retroperitoneal secondarily due to due to zygosis a process ter where there is an this appearance of the layers of the peritoneum we call it zygosis ar kichu kichu organ kidney suprarenal gland ureter tara prothom thekei posterior surface is non peritoneal anterior surface is covered by peritoneum so they are called primary retroperitoneal organ what are the primary retroperitoneal organs kidney suprarenal gland and ureter mcq important this for mcq ekta dilo all are secondary retroperitoneal except for duodenum dilo ascending colon dilo descending colon dilo or kidney dilo tomake mcq ota bujhe korte hobe all are secondary retroperitoneal except tokhon kidney ta hobe keno kidney kidney is primarily retroperitoneal prothom theke er kono zygosis hoy ni ए प्रथम थे कि पोस्टियर सरफेस इज नॉट कवर्ड बाय पेरिटोनियम सो दन इट इज इंपोर्टेंट फॉर एमसीक्यू कमोन ताले एई बारे की होलो एटा केनो बोललाम एई कारणे की इंटरेस्टिंग लागते देखते तो हमरा जे जे हास्य गल्प करछि कत घटना घटछे हमारे मध्ये कारण इंटेस्टाइन के मोबिलिटी दीते हबे ना होले আমাদের এই যে পেরিস্টালসিস মুভমেন্ট হচ্ছে সেগুলি ভালো করে হবে না ফিক্স যদি থাকে তাহলে নড়াচড়া না করতে পারলে হিউজ পেরিস্টালসিস মুভমেন্ট হবে না স্টমাক কেও নড়াচড়া করতে হবে কেন আমরা প্রচুর জল খেয়ে নিলাম স্টমাক ফুলে গেল নিচে নেমে গেল তুমি যদি ওকে মোবিলিটি না দাও তাহলে ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট গিভ মোবিলিটি টু দা স্টমাক ইউ নো ইফ ইউ টেক এ হিউজ অ্যামাউন্ট অফ ওয়াটার স্টমাক মে ডিসেন্স আপ টু দিস সো ইফ ইউ restrict them as a retroperitoneal organ you will feel suffocating so nature gives in mobility by giving omentum nature gives mobility to the small intestine jejunum ilium giving d mesentery nature giving mobility to the transverse colon as a transverse mesocolon karon dorkar royeche acha er pore ki holo tale initially greater omentum jodi boli attachment ki attachment anterior attachment to the greater curvature of the stomach to the first inch of the first part of the duodenum and posterior attachment ki anterior border of the head and body of the pancreas pancreas has pancreas ta erokom eta ke bole head eta ke bole body eta ke bole tail ei khane giye देवे देखते दो लाइन कटे रकम ही 
ট্রান্সভার্স ফেসে কলম নেই এরকমই দেখতে কিন্তু যেহেতু আমরা ক্রস সেকশন করেছি এই সেজিটাল সেকশন করেছি সুতরাং এই রকম লাগছে দেখতে বুঝতে পেরেছো অ্যাকচুয়ালি এটাও ফোল্ড এরকম ফোল্ড আচ্ছা তখন নেচার বলছে এতগুলি তো দরকার নেই হাউ টু বি কি হবে তখন এ এ রিঅ্যারেঞ্জমেন্ট হলো এখানে লাগলো এই চার নম্বর লেয়ারটা কি করলো এইখানে যে চারটে করলো এবার ভালো করে বোঝো তখন কি করলো এই যে তিন নম্বর লেয়ার সে গিয়ে এবং চার নম্বর লেয়ার আগে কিন্তু ইনিশিয়ালি আমরা দেখেছিলাম যে ট্রান্সভার্স বিশ্বকলনে লাগেনি ডাইরেক্ট চলে গেছিল প্যাংক্রিয়াস ডাইরেক্ট তখন নেচার বলছে এত এত লেয়ার দিয়ে কি হবে এদেরই ইউজ করে দাও তোমরা তখন কি করলো তিন নম্বর এবং চার নম্বর লেয়ার এটা তিন নম্বর লেয়ার অফ গ্রেটার ওমেন্টাম ভালো করে বোঝো একটু তিন নম্বর লেয়ার আগে কি ছিল এরকম ছিল একটু পাশে দেখছি এটা ট্রান্সফার ছিল এটা গ্রেটার ওমেন্টাম এরম ছিল তো আগেরটা এরম ছিল এটা চার নম্বর লেয়ার এটা তিন নম্বর লেয়ার এটা দু নম্বর লেয়ার এরকম ছিল আগে আগের পিকচারটা এরম এঁকেছিলাম তখন নেচার বললে এতগুলি লেয়ার কি করবে ফালতু কোনো দরকার নেই তুমি রিঅ্যারেঞ্জ করো তখন বললো তিন নম্বর এবং চার নম্বর ট্রান্সফার্স মিশো কলনে অ্যান্টিরিয়ার সার্ফেসে গিয়ে লাগলো বুঝতে পেরেছো আগে কি করছিল তিন নম্বর চার কোনটা ডাইরেক্ট বাইপাস করে এই আগে এটা ছিল তোমার কি বলে তোমাদের কি বন্দে ভারত বোলপুর স্টেশনের স্টপে ছিল না বোলপুরকে বাইপাস করে গিয়ে একদম মালদায়তে গিয়ে থামছে তখন বলছে কি করবে এত বড় থামতে তখন বললে এখানে স্টপেজ দিতে হবে ইউ হ্যাভ টু গিভ স্টপেজ সো থ্রি অ্যান্ড ফোর টাচ টু অ্যাটাচ দা ট্রান্সফার ফোল বুঝতে পেরেছো স্টপেজ দিল এবার তিন নম্বর লেয়ারটা কভার দা আপার সারফেস অফ দা কলন এন্ড গোস টু দা বর্ডার চার নম্বর লেয়ারটা কভার দা ইন্টেরিয়র এন্ড পোস্টিয়র সারফেস গোস টু কভার দা অ্যান্টেরিয়র বর্ডার অফ দা প্যাংক্রিয়াস সো নাও দি এক্সেস ইন ট্রান্সভার্স মেসোকোলন সো ট্রান্সভার্স মেসোকোলন এন্ড চেঞ্জ হয়ে গেল সুতরাং এক্সটেন্ড আমরা বলতে পারি গ্রেটার ওমেন্টাম এক্সটেন্ড फ्रॉम গ্রেটার কারভেচার অফ দা স্টমাক টু দা ট্রান্সভার্স মেসোকোলন 
Original destination Malda, that is the border of the pancreas. Kono kono boite a lekha nahi direct likhte, but actually it is very tight. Come on, so that you are puzzled na ho. I am ekro kono bollam. So bre ekro kono bolle, so kono puzzled na be. Actually ki. So that <coughs> these infection cannot spread to the other parts of the body. So greater omentum is called foolish man of the abdomen. Greater omentum is called the foolish man of the abdomen. Foolish jerakum whenever there is an <coughs> uh, criminal offense, foolish goes there to subside this criminal offense. Greater momentum also goes there to subside this criminal offense that is the inflammation or infection. So, greater momentum is called punishment of the abdomen. So, and also last but not the least, greater momentum contains blood vessels. Through these blood vessels, it supply the, uh, uh, supply the abdominal viscera, especially the stomach and uh, especially the stomach. Kali kiki content of the greater momentum, first to che fat, then to che blood vessels. Ebar tumra bolo to kiki blood vessel thakke. Greater carbature jodhi lage. Greater carbature kiki thakke. Left and right, gastroepiploic arteries and corresponding veins. Come on, eita thakke. Details like between first and second layer, anastomosis of the right and left gastric vessels and corresponding veins, limb nodes, corresponding veins, between and second.
এটা লিখে নাও বা এটা বইতে আছে পড়ে নাও আচ্ছা আরেকটা কথা এবারে বলেই নেই মুছে দিলাম আবার একটু কুইক আঁকছি তাহলে এটা ফার্স্ট লেয়ার এটা সেকেন্ড লেয়ার এটা থার্ড লেয়ার এটা ফোর্থ লেয়ার এখানে গ্যাস্ট্রো এপিপ্লোইক ভেসেলস রয়েছে আর এখানে ব্রাঞ্চের সব দ্য গ্যাস্ট্রো এপিপ্লোইক ভেসেল রয়েছে যা আমি ছেড়ে দাও যেটা বলার জন্য আনলাম ইন দ্য ফিটাল লাইফ বিটুইন দ্য সেকেন্ড অ্যান্ড থার্ড লেয়ার দেয়ার ইজ এন ক্যাভিটি দেখতে পাচ্ছ বিটুইন দ্য সেকেন্ড অ্যান্ড থার্ড লেয়ার দেয়ার ইজ এন ক্যাভিটি অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ দ্য ফিটাল লেসার স্যাক this is the fetal lesser sac in fetal period it is the lesser sac right it is the lesser sac but in late fetal life gradually the second and third layer fuse together agi bolechi in the lower part the second and third layer fuse together fuse mane ki jure jay so there is a no cavity in the lower part tar medical term ki boli jokhoni ekta cavity bujhe jay obliteration medically amra ei kotha koyekta kotha dikhe rakhbe ota porikar khate likhe felle examiner ra khushi hobe there is an obliteration of the cavity in the lower part obliteration কোনো কারণে ক্যাভিটি ছিল এবার ক্যাভিটিটা যদি বুঝে যায় তাকে আমরা বলি অবলিটারেশন সো দেয়ার ইজ এন অবলিটারেশন অব দ্য লোয়ার পার্ট অব দ্য লেসার স্যাক অনলি দ্য আপার পার্ট পার্সিস্ট অনলি দ্য আপার পার্ট পার্সিস্ট অ্যান্ড ইট ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য ডেফিনেটিভ লেসার স্যাক দ্যাট আই উইল বি ডেসক্রাইব লেটার অন সো বিটুইন দ্য সেকেন্ড অ্যান্ড থার্ড লেয়ার্স দেয়ার ইজ এন প্রেজেন্স অফ লেসার স্যাক but later period the lower part of the lesser sac disappears only the upper part remains persist so lesser sac into it is posterior to the stomach and anterior to the pancreas ekhan theke ekta idea kore nao এরপরে যেটা রয়েছে ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফর শর্ট ইট ইজ ব্লাড ভেসেলস নাও দিস ইজ দ্য গ্রেটার ওমেন টার্ম ভালো করে বুঝতে পারছো ফুল অফ ফ্যাট অ্যান্ড ইট আপনি এতক্ষণ শুধু এইটুকু নিয়ে এঁকেছি আফটার কভারিং দ্য অ্যান্টিরিয়ার সারফেস আফটার কভারিং দ্য পস্টেরিয়ার সারফেস তারপরে পেরিটোনিয়ামটা কি করে এস after the greater omentum first layer covering the anterior superior surface of the stomach and second layer covers the posterior superior surface of the stomach then it goes up to form another fold another omentum and this is known as the lesser omentum 
to be attached to the liver. So, lesser momentum after covering the stomach continues, continued as a greater momentum. Greater momentum on the other way, covering the stomach on the upper side, it is continued as a lesser momentum. Agi bolichilam, peritoneum is same. So, greater curvature, ekhane lagje greater momentum, lesser curvature, lagje lesser momentum. Air porijodi ami boli, ki bhulave. <coughs> the anterior layer of the lesser momentum covering the anterior superior surface of the stomach and continued as the first layer of the lesser momentum. Similarly, posterior layer of the lesser momentum covering the posterior superior surface of the stomach and continued as the second layer of the greater curvature. So, there are two momentum attached to the stomach, one attached to the greater curvature one attached to the lesser curvature. Those who attach to the greater curvature, we call greater momentum. Those who attach to the lesser curvature, we call it the lesser momentum. What is the attachment of the greater momentum? Repeatedly will see from the stomach to the pancreas or transverse colon and the lesser momentum from the stomach to the liver. This is the lesser momentum. From the lesser curvature, again first inch of the first part of the duodenum. First inch of the first part of the duodenum. So, first 2.5 centimeter of the duodenum is not retroperitoneal, it is totally covered by the peritoneum. So, in the lower part, the lesser momentum again of two layers, there is a no question of four layers. Lesser momentum is two layers, there is a no question of four layers. Lesser momentum on the lower part, it is attached to the lesser curvature and first inch of the first part of the duodenum. In the upper end, it is attached to the liver. Where? On oh, the liver. Amna liver is the ulte deki, inferior surface the deki. Inferior surface the deki. There is an gateway we call porta hepatis. We call it porta hepatis. And there is a fissure known as the ligamentum, fissure for the ligamentum venosum. Fissure for the ligamentum venosum. Fissure for the ligamentum teres, fissure for the ligamentum venosum. What is ligamentum teres? Obliterated left umbilical vein. What is ligamentum venosum? Obliterated ductus venosus. Interesting, for example, fetal circulation for the lesser momentum. In the lower part, it consists of a two layer, anterior layer and posterior layer. And both the layers below it is attached to the lesser curvature of the stomach and the first 2.5 centimeter of the duodenum. And above, both the layers attached to the porta hepatis and the floor of the fissure for the ligamentum venosum. So, it is attached to the floor of the Hepatis and the fissure of the ligamentum venosum. So it is. So if it is the stomach and it is the porta hepatis and it is the fissure for the ligamentum venosum. This is the liver. So this lesser momentum attached here. And other end, it is lattice here. Post anterior layer, ekhane lagje posterior, ekhane, ekhane. Eram bhabe lagje. So, it is the inverted L-shaped attachment in the liver. So, this is the attachment of the lesser momentum. On the one end, it is attached to the lesser curvature of the stomach 
and first inch of the first part of the duodenum and above it is attached to the porta hepatis and the fissure for the ligamentum venosa. It is visceral to bhalo kore bodhe jabe. Already you know the what is the anion gap. It is the calculated equation. Hmm. Practically there is no anion gap. Hmm. But it is one pre, for practical purposes or theoretical purposes the anion gap is the sodium plus potassium minus chloride plus bicarbonate as I have said. Now various causes of the metabolic acidity I will come. Metabolic acid base is the most common primary acid base disturbance and the least common is the respiratory alkalosis. Most common being the metabolic acidosis of all the disturbances. High anion gap. Metabolic acidosis, anion gap as, as I have mentioned, sodium plus potassium minus chloride plus bicarbonate. As in metabolic acidosis, there is normally low bicarbonate, so the anion gap becomes increased and causing high anion gap. As in metabolic acidosis, there is primary deficit in bicarbonate, primary deficit, there are two changes, primary change and secondary changes. Secondary change is due to compensation and primary change is that due to for the development of the acidosis or alkalosis. Secondary change is for compensation or correction. The primary change here, deficit of bicarbonate ion, anion gap will be increased, high anion gap. What are the causes? Number one, diabetic ketoacidosis, service and ketoacidosis. Renal failure, where urea creatine will be high, lactic acidosis. Number 5, toxicity, toxicity or poisoning. There are many poison like methanol. Ethylene glycol, very very much poison, ethylene glycol, formic acid, formic acid is become, it is becoming acid, so it, it causes acidosis, oxalic acid, these are all poison. Oxalic acid. So, these are the five causes of the high anion gap metabolic acid. Everywhere there is a deficit in bicarbonate, but in some anion gap, in some type of respiratory metabolic acidosis, that is normal anion gap. Normal anion gap. Normal anion gap means there is there must be deficit in bicarbonate because it is acidosis or metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis means there must be primary deficit of bicarbonate ion. When primary deficit of the bicarbonate ion is associated with concomitant and increase in chloride ion, there will be loss of bicarbonate ion, but chloride will be retained in exchange. Loss of bicarbonate in, and in exchange chloride will be retained. Therefore, anion gap will remain normal. Anion gap will remain normal, and that is called normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. And the cause is the normal anion gap metabolic acidosis occurs when there is a 
loss of bicarbonate either through stool or through the urine. When there is a loss of bicarbonate ion, loss of bicarbonate ion, Talkiyare loss of bicarbonate ion through stool, prolonged diarrhea. Is that due to loss of bicarbonate? Bicarbonate will excrete it through stool. Therapy, carbonic. Anhydrase, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. There are many diseases where carbonic anhydrase inhibitor is applied, like glaucoma of eye. Rather, in, in future, in later on, you will learn this therapy. If it is in excess, it may cause acidosis. Why? Car I have discussed because carbonic anhydrase is required for declamation of the bicarbonate ion. Reclamation of the bicarbonate ion is necessary for carbonic anhydrase. And the so reclamation or reabsorption, if it does not occur, it will be excreted. It will be excreted not through the urine, not through the stool, it will be excreted through the urine. Excreted bicarbonate will be excreted through urine. Another mechanism which is known as very important disease, renal tubular acidosis. What is that? That is the defect of the renal tubules. Defect of the renal tubules. And the defects of the renal tubules results in the defective secretion of the hydrogen ion. Defect of the renal tubules results in defective secretion of the hydrogen ion. If there is a defective secretion of the hydrogen ion, what will happen? If the hydrogen ion does not secrete through the tubules, as I have discussed, in my plus class, hydrogen is secreted through sodium hydrogen exchange. And for each hydrogen ion secretion, one bicarbonate ion is reabsorbed. For each hydrogen ion secretion, one bicarbonate ion is reabsorbed. So, there is, there is defective hydrogen ion secretion, there will be defective reabsorption of the bicarbonate. When there is a defective hydrogen ion secretion, there must be defective absorption of the bicarbonate. And there is a bicarbonate, if not absorbed, it will be excreted through the urine. It will be excreted through the urine. Loss of bicarbonate. Loss of bicarbonate through urine. Because there is no secretion, all are in chain events. No secretion, hydrogen ion, defect of the tubule. Tubular defects, no secretion, no absorption, bicarbonate will passes. Loss of bicarbonate result in acidosis and loss of, here the loss of bicarbonate in all these cases is associated with increase of chloride ion. There will be chloride ion will be reabsorbed. So, chloride ion will be high. In normal anion gap metabolic acid, this is also called because of the raised chloride ion, it is also called hyperchloremic, hyperchloremic acidosis. This is called hyperchloremic acidosis or normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. All are similar, both are similar terms. Nor hyperchloremic acidosis or normal anion gap metabolic acidosis, all are similar because there is raise in chloride ion in addition to deficit of bicarbonate ion. What is the treatment of the acidosis? Metabolic acidosis will be treated. First, you have to treat the, to correct the pH. কারণ পিএইচ থেকে আগে কারেক্ট করতে হবে কিভাবে পিএইচ কারেক্ট করা হবে ইন মেটাবলিক অ্যাসিডোস পিএইচ খাও পিএইচ ক্যান বি কারেক্টেড देयर इज ডেফিসিট অফ দা বাইকার্বোনেট সো ইউ ইউ মাস্ট অ্যাডমিনিস্টার বাইকার্বোনেট ইউ মাস্ট অ্যাডমিনিস্টার বাইকার্বোনেট সোডি বাইকার ইন কেস অফ অ্যাসিডোসিস ইন ইন অল কেসেস অফ ডায়াবেটিক কিটো অ্যাসিডোস এ রেনাল ফেলিয়র ইন ইন ওয়ার্ডস সোডিয়াম বাইকার্বোনেট ইজ পুশ সোডিয়াম বাইকার্বোনেট ইজ দা থেরাপি টু কারেক্ট দা পিএইচ বাট Sodium bicarbonate therapy is not the essential, not only the treatment. 
not only the sodium sodium bicarbonate jam treatment kore acidosis ta ke correct korte pari kintu disease process disease process causing the acidosis should be corrected like if it is diabetic ketosis you have to administer insulin if it is renal failure you have to uh, keep the patient on dialysis this is the final treatment and temporary treatment is the correction of the ph and permanent treatment is the correction of the cause or treatment of the cause next next i'll talk talking about next is the metabolic alkalosis metabolic alkalosis tale ki hobe ph ki hobe primary change ki hobe ratio ki hobe আর সেকেন্ডারি চেঞ্জ কি হবে সেকেন্ডারি চেঞ্জ মানে কম্পেনসেটরি রেসপন্স সেকেন্ডারি চেঞ্জ আর কম্পেনসেটরি রেসপন্স কি হবে অ্যালকালোসিস পিএইচ উইল বি হাই প্রথমে তুমি দেখবে পিএইচ যখন একটা অ্যাসিড বেস ডিসটারবেন্স প্রবলেম দেবে when you are will face a problem of acid base disturbance and you will be given acid base problem acid base problem will be given you first note the ph first you first note the ph whether it is acid base or alkalosis acid. then you know the primary primary change which is the primary change then you determine whether it is a metabolic or respiratory tale putama ph dp ph of acid base primary change ki hobe primary change the metabolic parameter change of metabolic parameter that means change of bicarbonate that and change of bicarbonate two side hobe change of bicarbonate will be increased metabolic acidosis there is a primary deficit of bicarbonate ion and metabolic alkalosis there is a primary excess of bicarbonate ion in alkalosis metabolic alkalosis there is primary excess of bicarbonate ion and the ratio will be ratio will be high ratio will be high as i have said because unless ratio is the high pH not will not be high as per the henderson hessel balk equation secondary change ki hobe secondary change will occur in the same direction of the other parameter tar mane other parameter means pco2 it will be raised but it will not be sufficiently raised to correct the ph eta jodi raise hoy tale ph correction hobe kintu পিএইচ কারেকশন হয় নরমাল পিএইচ হবে না যদি নরমাল পিএইচ হয়ে যায় তাহলে তাকে আমরা বলবো ফুললি কম্পেনসেটেড অ্যালকালোসিস অর অ্যাসিডোসিস কিন্তু ইট ইজ রেয়ার ইট ইজ রেয়ার কম্পেনসেশন হয় হবে देयर উইল বি নো কম্পেনসেশন এট অল অর देयर উইল বি পার্শিয়াল কম্পেনস কম কম্পেনসেশন ইন ম্যাক্সিমাম কেসেস देयर ইজ পার্শিয়াল কম্পেনসেশন সো দিস ইজ দা দেন নাও হোয়াট আর দা কজেস metabolic alkalosis so bicarbonate is excess ha huh, bicarbonate excess kokhon hobe okhane jan prolong prolong diarrhea te jemon sodium bicarbonate loss hoy ebong acidosis hoy prolonged vomiting e tukul to ta hobe prolonged vomiting e there will be loss of hcl because gastric juice contains hcl gastric juice ंग gastric secretion e pochur hcl thake and prolonged vomiting there is a loss of hcl causing alkalosis this is the arakta hote giye du number hote giye in ward e jeta khub common excessive rail stream tumra dekhecho excessive nasogastric suction dewa hoy there are many postoperative period e patient is introduced 
Rail strip is introduced into the patient for feeding.
ये भी आ सकते हैं क्वेश्चन में व्हाट आर द विजुअल रिलेशन ऑफ लीवर ओके सो द विजुअल सरफेस ऑफ लीवर इज कवर्ड बाय विसेरल पेरिटोनियम इट इज थ्रू आउट कवर ओके आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द पोस्टीरियर साइड ओके सो इट इज थ्रू आउट इट इज कवर्ड एक्सेप्ट व्हेन नंबर 1 इज पोर्टा हेपेटिस एंड सेकंड वन इज कॉल्ड रिमेंबर दिस वन ओके टू थिंग आर देयर दे आर एरिया प्रेजेंट ऑन द पोस्टीरियर सरफेस one at the middle porta hepatis and another on the inferior surface that is the gall okay so what are the other viscera first one is the right anterior part of stomach right anterior part of stomach then superior part of duodenum that means first part and second part okay superior part of duodenum then third one is lesser omenta okay just now you have seen the lesser cartilage is related so definitely lesser omentum will come always remember this is also a relation okay this is also a visceral relation you have to mention the lesser omentum if you mention the examiner will give you extra marks okay and you have pointed this out that also the lesser omentum you have mentioned okay then another one is the gallbladder gallbladder you know it is hanging from the inferior side and right pelvic pressure means hepatic flexion the right transverse cord part of the transverse cord and also it's a part right you have seen because liver is extended through the left hypochondrium so part of the transverse cord is also cut along with the hepatic flexion okay and you know the hepatic flexion which one is the eva splenic flexion or hepatic flexion ये तो ट्रांसवर्स कॉमन है ना सो इज इट पैरालल और समवन इज अप समवन इज डाउन राइट साइड इज हेपेटिक फ्लेक्शन लेफ्ट साइड इज स्प्लेनिक फ्लेक्शन द कॉर्नर द टू कॉर्नर ऑफ ट्रांसवर्स कॉमन सो व्हिच वन इज अबव वेरी गुड स्प्लेनिक व्हाई बिकॉज़ राइट साइड में क्या द लीवर बिकॉज़ ऑफ लीवर हेपेटिक फ्लेक्शन इज लिटिल बिट डाउन हाउ मच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर 2.5 ओके एंड फ्रॉम देयर व्हिच लाइन इज गोइंग दैट इज द ट्रांसपाइलोरिक which is also across the pylorus of stomach okay then next one is the right kidney and right suprarenal vein don't forget about suprarenal vein if kidney have uske upar kya hai suprarenal vein so you have to mention also the right suprarenal vein okay so you don't have to mark up just think the location then which are the organ that are involved okay so these are the visceral relation of the liver okay so see this is the impression that are making so first one is what is this this is the bare area which is the surface the visceral surface right so first one what is this called this is the gastric impression right on this side ye jo parallel this one is going on that is for the esophagus okay then coming the gastric impression right so you could also see the esophageal impression this is the last time we are having the liver okay so please study very nicely esophageal impression gastric impression is over okay then the next one is this side is renal impression where is for kidney at the right side okay then below that is the colon impression so kidney and colon would be on the right side whereas this stomach and esophagus would be on the left side Okay, and these are the reflection of the which we come at that is known as left triangular and right triangular. So how this coronary ligament is formed? Do you know? जो anteriorly जा रहा है that is the fasciform ligament, right? Then from that which is coronary ligament? This coronary ligament has two reflection. Anterior one is anterior coronary ligament, posterior one is posterior coronary ligament. And what about the side of this coronary ligament? The left and right triangular. Okay, it is actually as a whole total. Okay, anterior is anterior coronary, posterior coronary, left triangular, right triangular. Okay. So rather than that, what are the other thing you could get? Also the gallbladder. This is another thing that you have to mention. And see, this is the group for inferior vein cover. so this is again they are showing this is the impression right so remember this colon is at towards the down and this side is for the kidney and where is the suprarenal gland supranal gland ka kya hai 
to just inferior vena cava, you have to trace where is the group for inferior vena cava, just to the right side, to the right side of inferior vena cava. So that is for the right suprarenal gland inclusion. Okay. Then next our topic is porta hepatis. Okay, porta hepatis may comes as short mode. Okay, also sometimes as a expanded note also it will come. Okay, what are the things that will come in and out from the porta hepatis? So tell me which are uh, taking the entry. Entry kar kar hoche. Or? Third entry hoche towards liver. Take a judge. One is hepatic artery and another one is porta These are for the entry and exit is only one that is the hepatic duct. What would be relation? DAB. Okay. DAB. So from how? Medial to lateral, from lateral to medial. Okay. DAB. This also you could, if you are doing any USC, abdomen, there also you could locate this porta hepatis. Remember this one. Okay. The sonologist they used to uh, see that this is the total purpose. Okay. So entry and exit from the liver, hepatic arteries and portal vein. I told how the portal vein is formed. Portal vein we could do here. Okay. Behind the neck of pancreas, very good. Kiki take a very hard. Artery ki kore hoch is to hi? You are correct but the liver side is artery, it is brain. Right? So, inside it has a right side is superior eccentric vein and the towards left side is splenic vein. Okay? They together they will form the portal vein. Now if I ask you tell me about the hepatic artery. Hepatic artery is a branch of? Already we have discussed. Celiac trunk is partially correct. Tell me the exact artery. Hepatic artery proper is a branch of Cable vein. Common hepatic artery. Oitai. Oitai common hepatic artery. Hepatic artery is a dutu the branch of common hepatic artery. Sorry, that is also known as hepatic artery proper. It will divide into right and left hepatic artery. But I am asking, tell me the exact branch from where it is coming. Hepatic artery. Celiac trunk is correct. It's not, uh, I am not saying it's wrong. But which is the correct artery? Remember gastro duodenal artery. Gastro duodenal artery. Okay. So it's a branch of gastro duodenal artery. Then tell me what is the function of hepatic duct. Right, so this is the only structure that comes out through the liver. So what is the function of hepatic duct? A key secret for it. Why key go secret for it? Why secret for hepatic duct?
Where it open? Common by the to the second part of duodenum at the sphincter of body at the major duodenal papilla. Okay, remember this one. This may comes as several times. Okay, this is known as ampulla of better. Okay, it is also known as this one. Let me read you. It is also known as ampulla of better. Okay. So that is the opening of common bite. Okay. So we will see what are the structure uh, present on the liver. Okay. So this is what I am saying. This is the fasciform ligament. See over here. This is the fasciform ligament. From there, two reflections are going. One on the anterior side, one on the posterior side. So that are the coronary ligament. Anterior coronary and posterior coronary. And this reflection, two reflection on the side that are known as right and left triangular ligament. Okay, so this is the different type of ligaments. What is this? Round ligament of liver that is known as ligamentum teres hepaticus. It's a remnant of previous class. I have discussed everything. Calcium form ligament ka content kya hai? Para umbilical vein. Para umbilical vein. Very good. Then uh, the ligamentum teres hepatis is a remnant of left umbilical vein. Okay. Then the ligamentum erosum is a remnant of ductus minimus. Okay. These are frequently asked MCQs. Now coming. What are the lobes of liver? So the liver is divided into right and left lobe. By the gallbladder and the inferior vena cava. Okay, so this is on the posterior side. Anterior side is divided by calciform ligament. Okay, on posterior side we kya hai? Two for inferior vena cava and towards the down that is the gallbladder. So these two are dividing the lobe. So how many lobes are there? Right lobe that is the largest one. Okay, then the left lobe that is quite smaller. Then we have the quadrant lobe and quadrant lobe, so that is also arising from the liver. And another one I have told that is middle lobe. It is very occasional and it is found only two percent of the tissue. Okay, it's a occasional found. Where it will be present at the portal hepatis. Okay, at the on the middle. So that is middle lobe. Okay, now write it down the ligaments. How many ligaments are there? Number one is coronary ligament. This you could also write on your answers. Okay. These are very specific. First one is coronary ligament. So why it is called coronal? Coronal means these are the principal ligament. Okay. Coronal ligament attached to the liver, to the diaphragm, right kidney, and abdomen. The fourth one is what? Liver is the diaphragm, right kidney, and abdomen. Means you could. Think about this ligament is mainly present on the right side. Okay. So about the triangular ligament, it is asymmetrical. It's not that right triangular is larger, left one is smaller. Okay. So it is asymmetrical. It's not same. Okay. Then right and left components cover the left lobe of liver. So where you will get the triangular ligament on the left lobe, but where you will get the coronary ligament? You have to do. Okay, so that's why it is known as coronal ligament or coronary ligament. So this is true ligament or false ligament. These two are true or false.
liver. So you have to count the lesser momentum here also, not only in the stomach. Okay, you have to include the lesser momentum. So see, they have shown what are these two ligaments. Could you identify? These are the coronary ligaments. Okay, these are the coronary ligaments. This one is the anterior one, this one is the posterior one. Okay. And these two are the triangular ligament. What is this? The falciform ligament. Okay. And here if you see in the uh, gross anatomy, there also you could see some structure is inside. That is nothing but the pyramidical vein. Okay. Okay. So this is, this they have shown this structure. That is laser momentum. Okay. Laser momentum. So it could be seen from outside. 
लिगामेंटा के रोसन दिखाई देता है बाहर से नो ओके बिकॉज़ सी द ग्रुप फॉर इंफीरियर केना का बा just beside that there is one group for ligamenta venosa there is the presence of ligamenta venosa okay so that is also known as fissure or ligamenta venosa then lesser omenta how does it look you just have you have seen it is looking like a l shape okay and it has got two part number one is hepatogastric ligament and second one is hepatoduodenal Okay, now tell me what is the content of the gastrostomic ligament? Gastrostomic ligament. Another one is linear renal ligament. Two ligaments you have got. The content क्या होता है? Ciliac artery में बोला था. गैस्ट्रोस्टिनिक में कौन सा आर्टरी रहेगा अभी तो एक बोली गोलब्लडर दैट इज सिस्टिक आर्टरी 
it is non parenchymal and right and left hepatic artery is to the third branch so remember parenchyma means inside the liver okay it is endogenous structure of the liver whatever exogenous structure present on the liver that is non parenchyma Okay, so this is the dominant blood supply of the liver parenchyma and allows liver to perform blood related function. So, what is the function of portal vein? It is functioning any blood related function that is mainly detoxification. Suppose you have eaten food, so there are lots of toxin, even you have eaten the drug that is also taken up by the portal vein, so it needs the detoxification. So, that's why it is going back to the liver. Because liver will give the ultimate metabolites. Okay, जो actual है वो नहीं लगा कि remaining they it will just bypass where to the hepatic vein, it will go to the inferior vena cava, again it will go to the heart and again it will go to the lung spine. Okay, so the whole circulation are going like that. And यहाँ पे portal vein क्या होता है? Between the systemic vein and portal vein there is anastomosis. Okay. These anastomoses are very much important where the portal vein and systemic vein are meeting together. Okay, because there is the disease. Okay, so that's why this proto-cable anastomoses are very important. Okay, so then next we will see. So see, this is the hepatic blood oxygenated uh, purified blood, and this one is the hepatic artery. So these are the circulation. There are three circulation. One is hepatic vein, hepatic artery, portal. So hepatic artery is giving oxygenated blood. Hepatic vein is taking out the deoxygenated blood, and for portal vein, partial deoxygenation along with nutrients. Okay. So what about the venous drainage? The venous drainage of liver is achieved by hepatic veins. Okay. The central veins of the hepatic lobule. From collecting the vein, this then combine to multiple hepatic veins. This you have to understand, okay? So in the liver, what is there? There are numerous hepatic veins that will combine together and finally they will form the main hepatic vein. So total three veins are coming out. Yesterday I have shown you the inferior vena cava. How there is the three opening, okay? So these are the opening of the three hepatic veins, okay? So these hepatic veins open into the inferior vena cava, and this is the vein which is holding the liver from up. Okay, these are the three hepatic veins. So this structure, the structure inside the liver, microscopic structure, we will study in the histology. Okay, afterwards, that what are the things present on the liver, the lobules. Then this thing already we have discussed, right? Just remember this one. It is coming from the gastrointestinal artery. That is the branch of the ciliary. Okay, hepatic artery. So what is this? Write it down. This one is what is omeer liver segment. So this is important for surgery. This is important for surgery. The liver is divided into two lower segment. That is from right and left. And part that again it is divided into eight branches. Okay, eight part. So these eight part, how does it form? He got to tell you about it. By vascular supply and bile duct. Okay. So it is made by vascular supply and the bile duct. So that's why we are getting eight segment. So if anybody will ask you, tell me how many lobes liver has got. Then you have to ask whether you are asking anatomical or physiological. Physiological means you have to explain this one. Okay. Then the segmental anatomy of liver is the basis of various type of anatomic hepatic resection. So how we have made this resection? It would be clockwise. Okay. It would be clockwise. Okay. So the left lobe include काके का भी include हो चुके two and four. Remember left lobe write it down. Two and four. Two and four for the left lobe. Okay. 
and the right lobe into 5 to 8. Right lobe means 5 to 8. So 2 to 4, 2 to 4 for the left and 5 to 8 for the right. Okay, remaining is coming up. So it is making clockwise. Okay, so we will see in the picture. So see, I told you the 2 and 4. Now find it out where you could see 2 and 4. This is the 2, right? And this is the 4. So that is making the which low? Left low? Then the right low is made by how many? 5 to 8. So where is the 5? You see here 5, 6, okay? 7, 8. Okay, so this is for the right low. So what about the one? Which one we left? One. Right? One we missed. So that is found where? Four. Understood? So there where, where you have wrote, write it down for total capacities, it is one. Okay, one, two, three, four, okay? And five to eight, that is for the right loop. So one for total capacities, two to four for the left loop, and five to eight for the right loop. Next one is the ball bladder. So how the ball bladder is looking like? It is a pear shaped sac attached to the posterior surface of the liver. It uh, stores the connective tissue and the, it concentrates the pulp. Okay. It is made by connective tissue which concentrates. What is the main function of ball bladder? Number one is storage. Second one is concentration. Storage means what effect bile is produced by the liver. Is the liver is making all bile? How much? 80 Correct. 80%. 80% 80 it is made by liver. So it is coming to the gallbladder. So it is making the storehouse and it is making concentration. Okay, it is concentrated over there. How much? It's not I know that concentrate. Suppose bile has come from the liver to the gallbladder. Now, how much time it will concentrate? Remember 10 to 15 times. It's about 10 to 15 times concentrated on the gallbladder. Okay. So, what will happen if you just take out the gallbladder? What size surgery is there? Pura gallbladder nikal de to kya ho gaya? Which food the patient would not take? So 
ऑटोनोमिक नर्वस सिस्टम कहां पर एक्सेप्शन होता है रिमेंबर दिस वन देयर आर फोर साइड ओके फोर साइड नंबर वन इज यूपी यूपी डायलेशन इज बाय द सिंपैथेटिक अगर क्या होगा अगर यू हैव सीन सम डॉग कम टू बाइट यू व्हाट यू विल डू योर पीपल विल बी एलार्ज ओके सो दैट विल बी डन बाय सिंपैथेटिक ओके सो नंबर वन इज यूपी देन सेकंड वन इज वॉल वेरी गुड वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन इज यूनिटरी ब्लड देन आर की आज बोल सिंपैथेटिक एक्शन क्या है हार्ट रेट को बढ़ा देता है राइट सो इट इज व्हिच एक्शन सिंपैथेटिक बट इट इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड अनदर वन इज ब्रोंकस ओके सो ब्रोंको कंस्ट्रिक्शन विल बी डन बाय ब्रोंको कंस्ट्रिक्शन विल बी डन बाय पैरासिंपैथेटिक ब्रोंको डायरेक्टेशन विल बी डन बाय सिंपैथेटिक सो रिमेंबर दिस फोर साइड ओके यू विल द ब्रोंकस द हार्ट रेट Fourth one is the blood. Urinary blood. Urinary blood are also just opposite. Okay, because sympathetic is making the sympathetic current, dilated current, and parasympathetic is making. Okay, so this is the four side of uh, there. You see, there's the reverse action of sympathetic and parasympathetic. Okay, so this is the function. Stores by secret mucus. So this is also an important function of gallbladder. It will secret mucus, okay, and concentrate the bile about ten to fifteen times. Release bile when needed. So here is a question: When does the bile release? Suppose anybody has taken food, it has gone to the stomach, okay. Finally, it has done its churning and everything. Then it is coming to the duodenum. Okay, duodenum me aage. Then kya hoga? There will be release of this cholecystokinin pancreas. C C K P Z. Okay, C C K P Z. So it will cause what? It will cause contraction of bladder. So that the bile will be coming to the ampulla. Okay. So this is the function of bladder. Okay. So that is all for today's class. Next class we will discuss about small intestine and large intestine.